So today, as we start with the word, we're looking at Philippians chapter 2, starting in verse 25. So I thought it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and fellow worker and fellow soldier and your messenger and minister to my need. For he has been longing to you, you all and has been distressed because you heard that he was ill. Indeed, he was ill, near to death, but God had mercy on him, and not only on him, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I am the more eager to send him, therefore, that you may rejoice at seeing him again, and that I may be less anxious. So receive him in the Lord with all joy, and honour such men, for he nearly died for the work of Christ, risking his life to complete what was lacking in your service to me. So Epaphroditus is possibly someone that you're not familiar with. He's not one of those Bible characters that you learn about in Sunday school. And at the moment I'm thinking of baby names and he's not one of the Bible characters that is on any of the lists of potential baby names either. He only gets the briefest of mentions in the Bible. Yet look at how Paul describes him. He describes him as a brother in Christ, a fellow worker, a fellow soldier, a messenger, and also a minister to the needs of Paul. Epaphroditus had brought gifts to Paul whenever Paul was in prison. And we can learn several points from the life of Epaphroditus. First of all, he was a relative nobody. Compared to Paul, who we know so much about and who wrote most of the New Testament, we know almost nothing about Epaphroditus. He didn't have the same level of fame that Paul does or that Peter does or any of the major Bible characters. And yet, Paul saw him as an equal, as a brother in Christ. And that reminds us that there's no lesser members in the body of Christ. We've all been bought at the same high price. And we're all fellow brothers and sisters in Jesus. We all have different talents and abilities, but no one should be looked down on or considered as less important just because their gifting doesn't get them the same time in the limelight. Paul viewed Epaphroditus as a fellow worker, laboring alongside him to spread the message of Jesus. Secondly, if you look at what the name Epaphroditus means, it means belonging to Epaphrodite, and Epaphrodite was a pagan goddess. But through the power of the gospel, Epaphroditus got a new identity as a fellow brother, a worker and soldier of Christ. And how amazing is that, that the gospel has the power to free those who are dead and to give us new life and new identities. You see, Epaphroditus, he wasn't in it for fame or for glory. He'd had an encounter with Jesus and he couldn't help but respond. He was prepared to do whatever was necessary to help others have that same encounter. If it meant risking his own life, he was prepared to take that risk. Like Jesus, and like Paul, Epaphroditus put the needs of others before his own needs. If it meant doing unglamorous work as a delivery man, taking supplies to Paul, then he was prepared to do that for the sake of carrying out the work of Christ. And that is the mindset we need to have. Not viewing anything as beneath us, and not viewing any prices too high to pay if we're doing the work of Christ. So as we think of some application, look today for opportunities to serve, because obviously ministry isn't just for pastors or gifted speakers. We're all called to be fellow workers. So look today for opportunities to do the work of Christ. Maybe it'll look like going to the shop for a neighbor who's self-isolating. Maybe we'll be that delivery messenger, just like Epaphroditus bringing supplies to those in desperate need. And as we conclude, as we turn to prayer, take time today to thank God for the gifts and talents that he's uniquely given you. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you how you can use those gifts to be a blessing to the people in your neighbourhood, in your workplace, in your family group. Pray for opportunities to point them to the humility that Jesus showed us all by taking on the form of man and dying on a cross. And remember to thank Jesus today for the forgiveness of our sins through his death.